Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my channel and like my video. In this video, we will learn how to use ngrok to easily share our localhost server to the internet. If we need some way to share access to our localhost server, ngrok provides that solution. ngrok is very easy to use. We have to download it from the internet. It will be downloaded as an archive. We need to unzip it and save it. In our case, uh, we will be using Linux package. So first we need to go to ngrok website. You can type ngrok on Google. And here is the link to a website ngrok. Dot com. We need to click on this link. And now we can click on download link. And here is the link for our uh, download for Linux. I'm just going to click over here. And I'm going to save file, click OK. And now we can go to our download where our ngrok is downloaded. It's in uh, my downloads folder. Now we need to go to the terminal and unzip the file so i will open a terminal and then move to download folder by using cd command and the folder name downloads and now i'm going to list the content of our downloads directory and i'm just going to copy uh, the name of ngrok zip file and use the unzip command and the name of our zip file and just hit enter so it started extracting it i want to expose the apache web server which comes with my lamp and i need to start that server first so i will use this command sudo Opt the lamp lamp start and just hit enter. So I have my Apache server running, and now I'm going to uh, start my ngrok. Uh, to start ngrok, I'm going to use ngrok and then HTTP and then the port number our server is running on. Mine is on port 80, so I'm going to enter port 80 and just hit enter. And over here, we can see that port forwarding for ports 80 and 443. Uh, uh, I don't have 443 port running, so we have this for port 80 and this uh, URL, the ngrok subdomain name. We can use this uh, URL. Uh, I'm just gonna copy it and open in a browser so we can make sure we, we can access our web server from this uh, subdomain. And hit enter. Now we can see our web page. Uh, is accessible to the internet 
with this URL over here. It is very simple, no configuration, no con, no headaches, just a simple one-line command that we can run from anywhere. The subdomain provided by the ngrok is generated one and will change every time we start ngrok. So this URL over here, you can see, will change if we restart our ngrok. We can also uh, use our custom domain name, uh, but we have to pay for that. Ngrok also has a web interface uh, at port 4040 where we can see statistic and logs. Let's open that too. We can type on our browser 127.0.01 and the port 4040 and just hit enter. And this is Ngrok's uh, web interface. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Awesome Code, like my video, keep supporting me, and thank you for watching.